breaking travel news at the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference. And now we're talking to a person who's had a lot of experience with launching new hospitality brands, Mark Darden, CEO of Patina Hotels and Resorts in Singapore. So, Mark, nice to see you again. Phil, great to be here. I remember a couple of years ago when I was with the address and we did the uh, opening of the address on Armani. So it's wonderful to be back here. Yes. So I think you have hotel openings in your blood. So tell us a bit about the concept, the philosophy of this new brand, which is headquartered in Singapore. We launched it two years ago and it's all about luxury lifestyle. It's really uh, uh, positioned at the highest level. Smaller hotels, uh, 150 to 250 keys, city locations or resorts and very strong sense of place, strong art program, uh, very highly personalized intuitive service and very much in tune with what uh, the modern luxury travel is looking forward now. First property opening in Singapore, first quarter of next year, I guess very much the flagship uh, property for Patina Hotels and Resorts. Yeah. What's unique about it? Uh, Location, it's a wonderful location uh, in the middle of the the civil district uh, of of Singapore, close also to the business district. So our location is one. Also, the hotel is located in uh, two colonial buildings over 100 years old and has uh, uh, the oldest theatre of Singapore nearby and uh, some, uh, some uh, interactive retail and then 43, uh, uh, 39 uh, residences for sale. So a beautiful combination, lifestyle combination, all positioned at the ultra-luxury uh, segment. So what's the heritage of the family, it's a Singaporean family behind Patina Hotels, what's their heritage when it comes to hospitality? I mean, the Cui family uh, have owned hotels for many years. They, they still own the Regent in uh, Singapore, the Ritz-Carlton, which is the flagship for, for Ritz-Carlton in Asia, Conrad and uh, Capella. So really, this fifth hotel is fully owned by members of the Cui family. And really, after having owned uh, luxury hotels for so many years, it's clear that the next step is, why don't we manage them ourselves? So that's what, I, that's what I'm doing for them. So, a very impressive portfolio there, and because you are here, we're here in Dubai, the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference, the 10th edition, I think you're probably, if I might be wrong, of course, thinking of looking to this part of the world for Patina Hotels. Am I right? Absolutely. You know, I think Dubai is uh, very close to my heart, obviously. I spent 10 years here in, uh, in the region, first with Ritz-Carlton and then with uh, Ima, so uh, Dubai is, is a fantastic opportunity. We all know what is happening in terms of development. And I think Patina is really ready to come here. I think there's a need for new brands, really, and there's a, there's a demand for it. We're currently talking to a couple of developers for properties either on the Palm or downtown. And, uh, you know, very positive about Dubai, but also about the whole Middle East. So how do you sell a new brand to the luxury traveler who's so familiar with the brands who have been established for a long, long time? I think, uh, you know, a lot of developers that we meet uh, are kind of tired of the established brands, you know. So, and I always say, you know, with us, you know, you have a 100% focus because we are small. I mean, that's a big advantage versus being, you know, part of a big brand. And uh, so you're a big fish in a small pond versus, you know, small fish in a big pond. And uh, that's where the focus comes, the personalization. Uh, we We are a private company, so, you know, we don't have quarterly results to report and uh, you know very flexible want to work with owners who want to create something truly special so mark looking ahead i mean this is the 10th anniversary of ahic i'm not going to ask you where you're going to be in 10 years time in terms of the new hotel group but maybe over the next four or five years what have you got in the pipeline yeah the pipeline is uh, quite encouraging because we don't have an existing hotel yet you know so we looked at china so we have uh, potential properties in uh, beijing and shanghai Then we looked at Southeast Asia, very close to signing a deal in the Maldives and in Bangkok, uh, looking at Phuket also, and then obviously Bali and Jakarta. Uh, Then uh, closer to home to, you know, the UAE, Dubai would be really a a perfect fit for Patina for one or two hotels. We're very interested in Oman also because of the positioning of their their tourist sector. And uh, going on from here, I'm going to Europe and really uh, talking to a developer to potentially manage multiple properties, which would give us uh, eight to ten hotels in Europe, you know. So, uh, again, uh, we don't want to put numbers on the board. You know, we are a privately owned company. We have our internal goals. But we want to do things right, you know, and so developing 8, 10, 15, 20 hotels, but that are truly in line with the Patina brand. 
Sounds very impressive and a large footprint from uh, Europe into the Middle East where we are and across to Asia, your home base of course. So Mark, thanks very much for joining us. Great, thank you Phil. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be here.